Okay, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit, and y'all probably um, can't see me, but because I'm driving or whatever, but I wanted to talk about some things or whatever that had, that's been on my mind or whatever, and like to do with being a celebrity and being famous, like sometimes it's hard for... Uh, it's hard for um, celebrities and famous people to know what they want in life. Um, and it's because, uh, like, having so many people praise you and uh, worship you or whatever, like you're a god or something like that, it would keep you in a mental state of mixed emotions because you don't know if you're going or coming. I know that this have happened with several like famous so, um, people or celebrities or and that's probably like the reason for why a lot of their relationships and things like that haven't worked or whatever because it's hard like it's hard being in a predicament as such you know what I'm saying like <laughs> like it's hard because um, like you got so many, you have to think about it. You got so many, you could be with most of the time you could be, it doesn't matter how you look or who you are when you are famous or whatever. Um, like everyone wants a piece of the pie. Everyone wants a piece of you. It, well, it seems as though it's like that, you know, it, it, it seems as though, as though, um, you know, that's how people people perceive you or, you know, like, they're all over you. So you have all these energies coming towards you. You could be in a relationship or you could have made, you, you may have even might, you know, if you're not too old or you're not too young or whatever, you could even be a person that could have been like, with the partner that you've been with since childhood or that you grew up with or something of that nature. But like in all nationalities still or whatever, um, um, you could have been really in love with that person. And like with all these different energies and people coming towards you, like it could be like some of the most beautiful people that come towards you it not meaning that their heart is beautiful beautiful or anything like that it could just mean that their heart is you know uh they don't even have to be you no know, good people like it's just the energies or whatever and the person whom they are like truthfully themselves who they heart um make people you know perceive them to be is what I'm saying because who we are it comes from it flows from our hearts it's not about how we look on the outer appearance or anything you can get with the most beautiful the most beautifulest person um in your lifetime that could be like nothing on the outside could be out of whack with them everything could be just perfect from head to toe and this could be like the ugliest person or their inner spirit do not like mix do not attract or it doesn't add up to who you are or whatever whatever you know or you 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 could get with this beautiful person that's so pretty on the outside and and later on you know you're with this person for like a year or months or whatever and you find out like I really don't like this person like it's their attitude for me it's just their spirit for me like I make sure that like now when I was on a low vibration I was on a low vibration and I picked from that point of view you know I had a low self-esteem I had abandonment issues rejection issues projection issues 
I had all of that. And so I would go and pick me up the lowest person I could find as possible. You know, a like spirits, they attract. So it wasn't hard for me to find a hurt, lost, broken person. But what I'm getting to with this situation is um, famous people and celebrities and all of that, like, it's scary. It's scary being a famous person. It's scary being a celebrity. And like, sometimes I have a lot of gifts to offer the world. And like, I dummy myself down. Like, I always put myself under people, you know, and let their light shine before, you know, myself. And I have a lot of stuff to offer to the world that can heal the world. But I've always been a person that, you know, I'm not really, I never really just been a selfish person. Now, I went through a period of time where it was about me and I was in a place of like going through something with my ex-husband. So I had to have my hair done. I had to have, and you know, I was cutting everyone out. Like I can even rem remember the times where um, it was about me, me, me. I was even being selfish. <laughs> I was even being selfish towards my children. And so I'm saying this to say or whatever, like it could be scary. Like, and sometimes it make me second guess or second put thought into me trying to uh, like exalt myself, you know, even though it's God, because I've, you know, let people push me down for so long. God is going to quite naturally, he's going to come through and he's going to exalt me to a higher level or whatever, you know, where I'm really going to be standing out and seen for the person who I am, because I always put myself under people and let them go before me. But being a, ce a celebrity or famous or looked at in a high beam of light, knowing that a lot of these people not even heal, like it's a lot of broken people that have gifts and talents and they get them and they take off because they mean they don't want to be broke anymore. They don't want to be stuck in poverty anymore. They don't want to be, and I don't know, I'm going to come back with some more sessions of this that I'm talking about because this is on the spiritual twin flame journey and you guys need to know this. Because, you know, most of us, we have talents and stuff to offer. But what I'm saying is, you know, it could be scary because these people look at you when you're famous or you're a celebrity or you're, you know, seen in a great big light and your heart could not even be in that place. You could be the person that feels so low about yourself, feels so ugly about yourself, but yet and still it's people making you feel like you're just all of that or whatever when you know you feel like poop about yourself and so you know you take a hurt lost broken person and you get people to praise them like that do you think that's going to change their heart from who they are if they was ugly before and like did ugly stuff out of their hearts because they're hurt lost broken and feel rejected and abandoned and never healed do you think that's going to change them because you know, they got all these people coming towards them that's like beautiful people, like people that is top notch models and you know, like they there's nothing wrong with them. Like they're so perfect or whatever, but they hearts could be ugly, like literally just ugly, you know. Um and you connect with the person like that. And you're already hurt, lost, and broken. Like, it doesn't do anything but eat, take from your spirit even more to make you feel even lower. So, I'm going to come back with some more of that or whatever. I just, it's scary. It's scary being famous. It's scary being a celebrity. It's scary because those people that's famous and looked at in that great big light, um... It don't give them a wish fulfillment of properly healing and being able to see their way, seeing what, see what God is trying to show them or whatever. It make them like ignore the things that they really need to be doing in life because they got all of these people 
praising them and coming at them and wanting to be with them and you know most of the time they can be with anyone they want and it doesn't give them a space and place and you know time for healing properly or whatever because they got all these energies coming for them and like at sometimes they slip up and they like have sex and they go out and they sleep with these different people and it just it's digging a hole deeper and deeper and if that celebrity or famous person if they were low or felt low about themselves before they became famous or they were unhealed it's just taking them further and further and further down into that hole and not giving them the satisfaction of properly healing and so it causes them to be ugly at heart and they don't even be seeing the measurements of ugly that they are but like I read people and I don't only read cards I read people and I get downloads and spirits just jump out of people towards me and I know who they are and so I got all these energies coming for me or whatever whatever and like I really know who the people are and I'd be like uh you know they spirit just don't add up to who I am and I've made a lot of mistakes and I have kids and all of that but no one can tell me that I'm lesser a lesser value than a famous person or whatever it's just that I've got the proper and I've al I, I've always given myself time enough to go through my struggles my hurts and my pains and I've always received the proper uh, space and time to heal and be alone I've always been a person that's been alone so God he shows me things and what's going on with me and what people are doing and even myself you know so it's kind of weird y'all y'all have to pray and raise your vibration so that you can see things and know what space and place that you're in on the journey or whatever with your spiritual growth so that you can know what all is going on with you yourself so that you'll be able to detect these things that's going on with you or whatever so that you can receive the proper healing so that you can give out the right energy that people need to heal the land because again you know God he states or whatever he said if my people shall hear me and uh, repent and you know come out of our disobedience then he will heal he will hear us and heal the land and we need you know the proper energy that we're given off spiritually to heal a lot of people because it's so much evil hurt and pain and people thinking that they're a god and they got all these disbeliefs and you know and you know all these different religions or whatever that is not even of the spirit and so you know i don't know what spirits they be believing in because it's light and dark spirits and you know it's evil spirits and it's good spirits or whatever so you have to be able to detect what and who is giving off what type of spirits and energies or whatever in the proper spiritual light that's being uh, vibrated out of you to heal people or whatever you know even foods even overeating it's so much stuff y'all I'm gonna take y'all ass to school come to class in your mask and we're gonna uh, give off because we're gonna step in class and we're gonna tell the devil he's last and you know we're just gonna stay on our bond and we're gonna grind and it's gonna be like all the time and we're gonna flourish w with these rhymes and we seen it in the signs you know the devil cannot tell him get behind the he he belongs at the back of the line and you know we're not giving off lemon rhymes because we don't want to be sour we come in with a lot of power so we can flourish and what we can flourish and what let the devil know he can devour yeah okay so that's what it is that's what it's gonna be but guess what we own it you know what I'm saying we own it we own it 
God bless. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I love y'all.